Now we're on to tutorial number three. And in the first two tutorials, you learned how to open SolidWorks. So we're not going to show that in any more tutorials. And you also know how to start a new part. Clicking on part, OK. And now we've started a new part. And we, we're using the top plane, so we're going to do that again here. And we're just going to draw an item using that again. And as you remember, you've seen all this before. So I wanted to say that while we're just using the top plane on this to make the entire part, you're not stuck when you start with the top plane just using the top plane for the rest of the part. You can use the top plane to draw one part of the part or portion of the part, and then you can use the front plane to draw another portion, or you can create special planes to do that. But as you can see here, we're just stacking items on top of each other. We started out with the top plane, and then we clicked on the top of the for first portion to create this extrusion. And now we're going to click on the top of it and make another one. And we're going to make that up pretty high. So we've created this part. And as you know, if we forget to dimension something or we need to change it, no big deal. You can open it back up and add the dimension if you want. And there you go. So we've made that part. So remember that part. Now we're going to do a little something here. We're going to do a section view. All this does is just kind of slice it in half just so you can view it. It's just for viewing. It doesn't really cut it. It's not going to stay that way. We can pick different views, and so it just gives us an, a way to look at the profile. So remember that profile, or better yet, remember this profile. We're going to draw a sketch that's that profile, and then we're going to revolve it to create that part. So let's get out of this part and just start another one. On this one, though, we're going to use the front plane. We click on the front plane click on sketch. So we're going to draw that profile and you know you don't have to set all the dimensions right away. You can just draw something that looks pretty close and then go back later and add the dimensions. And so I think this one was about 10 and I think this was what 30 and I can't remember what this was. Let's just call it 50. Now, since we're going to revolve it, that diameter was 60, so half of it is 30. And the other one, I believe that was 30, so we'll make this half would be 15. So we're basically we're drawing. We are drawing the radius. Five. And there's our profile. Now, see that, that little blue box down there? That means, it's not a big deal, but it means that there's a, a stray line, kind of a little hair sticking out. I drew that so fast, my hand probably jumped in the little line. It probably put a little line there somewhere. So it's no big deal. I can click inside that, and then that's what the blue box is for. It's saying, hey, there's too many lines here. Tell us what we need to extrude. So you could do that, and it would have worked. But we know there's a hair there somewhere, so let's get out of this. Just, we're going to open up the sketch again. And, yep, there it is, right down there. See that line? No big deal. Just click on it and press delete on your keyboard. It would have been fine, but it's better not to have it in there. So now, let's just extrude this before we revolve it. See, no blue box. And we can do a mid-plane, equal amounts on both sides. So now it's going 25 one way, 25 the other. And th that shows you, if you just extrude that profile, that you kind of get this nice block shape, kind of steps. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the revolve to make that part. So let's just delete that. Remember, if you delete it, it leaves the sketch. So let's highlight the sketch. 
We'll go up to Revolve Boss Base. And we need to pick an axis of revolution that's going to revolve around. So we're going to pick this line right there. And it just created that part. So we made basically the same exact part. I don't know if the dimension's perfect, but we made the same part two different ways. One was from the top plane stacking it, and the other was a revolve from the front plane. Now we could have revolved it many, many different ways. In fact, you can see all the dimensions here. If we pick a different line to revolve this around, like down here, it creates an entirely different part. So you're not, you're not stuck if you make it on the wrong plane or the wrong direction. You can just pick the line that you want, like, um, and you can change the dimensions. So once again, with SolidWorks, you can just kind of start drawing something and then you can change it quite easily. So we'll double that, 29 or more, and there, different part again. Now once again, we can make an even different part using that same sketch. So let's pick this line right up on top here as the axis. And there we have a different part. So this tutorial is just to show you that with one sketch, we can make many different parts. And we can make the same item in many different ways, one by stacking it and one by revolving it. So there you go. Play it around, draw some sketches. They can be curves, they can be whatever you want. Just make sure you have a straight line on it somewhere. And click that revolve as an axis. See what happens.